joining us on The Blend is Nicole Grader, who is a pre-K through third grade literacy consultant with Ingham ISD. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. I'm glad to be here with you today. Well, good to see you. I want to talk to you about reading because I understand reading uh, month is March all month long, and which is a celebration because reading is so important. So remind our viewers why reading and literacy is so important. So really, literacy is foundational to everything we do as humans. You can't walk out of the house without having to read something or talk to someone. Um, reading that includes speaking, listening, reading, and writing. That's all what literacy is, right? And so this is how we tell our stories and how we communicate with each other, how we share our feelings and how we're entertained. Um, it's also how we persuade or advocate for our needs or the needs of others around us. And it's how we're informed. So most importantly, this is how we learn. And literacy is foundational to being able to learn any content area or any subject. What are important skills that children need to learn to be able to be really good readers? So actually, there's two really important foundational skills to reading. Um, Anita Archer says there's no comprehension strategy powerful enough to compensate not being able to read the words. And in order to help our kids be able to read the words, at a very young age, we want to work on phonics and phonological awareness. And what that means is hearing the sounds and knowing the letters. And so everything we're doing in our schools right now is trying to help our kids learn the letters and how they map onto sounds. So families at home can do that when they're reading, um, help kids look at the letters and say the sounds to read the words. And it's really that basic and foundational. Yeah, you know, I was I was actually going to go off on that because before they get to school, are there things that parents can really do to set them up to be successful? Absolutely. Parents are children's first teacher. Sometimes the only advice parents receive about helping their child's literacy is to read to them. And reading aloud is very important, but there are lots of things that families can do. Families can involve their children in the day-to-day -day tasks in the house, like cooking, reading the recipe, making a grocery shopping list. Um, they can talk to their children, even babies, even infants, talk to them. So while you're changing them on the changing table, talk about your day and tell them about what you're doing. And that builds their vocabulary and comprehension for years to come. So families are really important. Great advice. I remember being a kid and my mom said, you can go anywhere in the world by reading a story. And I thought that was good advice and I still maintain it. So. Nicole, thank you so much. We're gonna put your information on the screen and we appreciate you taking time out this morning. Thank you.